So this question is for uh, Dr. Arua. Any explanation why uh, alopecia areata prevalence is higher than global uh, percentages? Um, yes, this was based on a single study. Now, it, uh, and it, the number was around 600 patients, but uh, we need a wider studies for sure and larger, but this gives us kind of an estimation maybe where we are. Um, so I would still wait for larger studies to look into that. Uh, do you think now having these registries would really uh, give you some mu much more insights? Yes, definitely, because uh, again, you have multi-center now in these registries, wider from not just one region, but rather more regions from Saudi Arabia. So hopefully within a couple of years, we'll have a better estimation and numbers. Excellent, thank you so much. Another question. Um, can we use combination of corti cortisone plus tacrolimus as a local treatment? Any of the speakers? Treatments. We can, uh, treatments. Yeah, about the combination of typical steroid and typical tacrolimus can be used, but uh, usually we tell the patient to start uh, first one, like typical steroid. If there is no response, we can add. Uh, usually I like to use uh, typical uh, calcineurin inhibitor in the face, like in, sometimes in the eyebrows with the minoxidil. But uh, mm -hmm. alone, I didn't like it to use it alone. I use it with the minoxidil. Uh, while typical steroid is more potent for the alopecia areata in the children in the scalp. But in the beard area and on the eyelashes, we, use, uh, we can use uh, both minoxidil and typical calcineurin inhibitor. Uh, if we need to use calcineurin inhibitor in the scalp also, we use the, uh, the typical steroid, uh, for example, month, for one month, and the next month we, uh, as an alternative uh, treatment, the calcineurin inhibitor. Clear. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Al Khalifa, um, your presentation was very um, impactful when we were talking about the quality of life. Uh, the question is, does uh, the management of alopecia areata has been covered currently with um, the insurance? And if not, what is the next step to um, uh, highlight this and uh, making sure that those medications have been covered by insurance? I think I have seen some patients who are, because I don't treat, uh, I don't treat insurance, uh, insured patients. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not the right person to ask whether they are getting enough treatment or not, but I, I have seen quite a good number of patients who are getting alopecia areata treatment uh, and covered by insurance. Uh, the question is whether um, uh, the, the, the coverage for uh, the uh, jack inhibitors will be there, and, and we only have one jack inhibitor, actually, we don't have a lot of jack inhibitors now. Uh, and I, I think it is our duty to, to add this I know it took uh, long for psoriasis to be uh, covered in, 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 in insurance policies, but alopecia areata should not be an exception. It should be added. Uh, Dr. Arweili, do you have any more uh, comments on that matter? No. Uh, any question from the audience? Father Dr. Assalamu alaikum. Um, my question, what is the Saudi guidelines for alopecia? Can you go through them? Who are candidates for systemic treatment? What's your first option, second option? But the guideline of the alopecia areata, we're looking first for either, if it is uh, the adult more than 10 years, we start, we're looking to the salt. If the salt less than 50%, we start by the injection and the typical corticosteroid and the typical treatment like uh, we adding, like typical anthraline and also minoxidil plus the typical corticosteroid and the interregional kinocort injection. If there is, uh, if there is salt more than 50, here we can use typical immunotherapy like DBCB. If there is no response within 24 weeks, we can add systemic therapy, like a short course of steroid plus methotrexate or cyclosporine or anti jack treatment here. And we put the anti jack treatment as a first line after the DBCP with the systemic therapy. We know that it's the most effective here. So uh, is the uh, 
because your first line will be a contact sensitizer. First line yeah, for Yeah, typical CD. immunotherapy, like the BCP. Second line, systemic treatment. Are they in the equal thing or there is like preference? They have to fail methotrexate, cyclosporin to go to the JAK inhibitor or they can go to JAK inhibitor right away? Um, actually, we uh, be, because you know, we, in, the, in the Ministry of Health guideline here, we start by the systemic treatment, like you know, uh, methotrexate or cyclosporine. If there is failure, we shifted the patient directly to the anti jack So it is the third line anti jack treatment. Yeah, but in some uh, guideline, it's a first line. So even if, if in um, in, in uh, the other guideline, but uh, but for me. Even if, if you are not, if the patient not respond very well to the immunotherapy, and we, I start with him systemic therapy immediately for one or two months, you can add uh, the anti-jack uh, if there is a failure or three months. Okay, good, thank you. Yeah.